guys, Tyler here. Welcome back to Taiji, the open world puzzle game inspired by The Witness that took eight years to make. This has been a passion project and just a ton of fun. Basically, placed in this huge open world without really any sense of direction, you gotta figure out the rules, figure out the meaning of the puzzles, and just simply try to solve as many puzzles as possible. I forgot, one thing I actually didn't do in the previous episode was come back to this. This is how it all started. And the rule I remember for this is that Basically, you gotta create a section that is equal to the number of dots contained within that section. And if each square is one dot, well, you can have a section of all the squares and I wanna see if that does anything. It sounded like something happened in the far distance. Uh, the main reason I was actually running back was because I wanted to get to this area to see that we've completed two sections now. So I saw I could run up the hill here to get to the start of another section. And what is this? Ah, the section in the middle. Probably meant to be one of the first sections to do. It's a giant maze. Oh, these feel pressable. Oh, interesting, okay. So I gotta walk on the tiles to maybe uh, complete the maze. So something like this. Yeah, just continue the pattern. I think I need to keep continuing the pattern? Oh, maybe not. It seems to be a different pattern because I'm almost matching this section here with the section above it, but it changes up a bit. So I almost wonder then if I want to create a too wide section. Yeah, that it would appear to be it. Just gotta follow a nice little symmetry. Now I can go out and around to here. I've got to again create the same pattern that we see down below, like this. So the symmetry continues, walk through here, and all the squares I step on are white. So I've got to just create the white path. Oh, I walked off before completing it, but thankfully it saves my progress. So maybe now I can do this. Okay, it's not as bad as it looks, it's just gonna be a ton of walking. Basically, I just need to walk the entirety of this lowered area, or do I? Oh yeah, because this is steppable as well. Maybe I gotta create like a spiral path. I know the path at least starts here. And then I'm almost kind of drawing the path I walk on the left side or just marking it just to make sure I don't lose track where I am. This goes to about here. There's a wall in the way of exactly where I wanna be. That gets me to here. So then I could walk in one, two, three, four, five, five. Walk over twice. Walk down one, two, three times, over twice, up one, two, three, four, five, five, over one, two, three, four, five, six, six. I imagine I'll just go down and then over. I bet this is right. Yeah, it is. It's a very satisfying path. Funny, nothing really told me to make that path. It just looked right. It looked satisfying, so now I just gotta create the opposite of that. Create the walls around that path. It makes sense though, it's, it might be the only way to create a one wide path. Well, it's surely solved. It's beautiful. Oh yeah, and that lit up the flame. I just completed the section. Let's go! All right, try to find something else. How about I go over this bridge? Where's the water? I actually wanted to go up these stairs because I could see this is the area that was shown in the trailer. How nice is this? Look at this, so you gotta solve the panel based off the tree. You got uh, section one, four, three, and six. They're longer, so you click the ones that are long. This one's almost like big candle thing. So you just click the ones that are long. And these appear to be longer than the rest. Even though they're unlevel, you can still tell the length. Is this more the same? Well, these actually look symmetrical. Oh, I see. The only short ones are the middle ones. It is symmetrical, but there's still some longer than others. Follow the wire. It'll show me to where the next puzzle is. It's open the gate. What is in here? Huh. Wait, there's big buttons here. Well, this probably refers to this branch, which is longer than the other. And this is a longer flower part, and this is a longer flower part, so this would be correct. I wanna get back there to mark this section on the map. Okay, more sets of branches. So these two... Oh, this one button refers to both of these, which are long. 
And this button refers to this branch, which is long. This branch is long, so I'll mark it. These are long, which correlates to here. And then this is also long, which should be correct. Oh, here we go. That's how it's done. Mark it with a Y. Kind of reminds me of a tree. Slowly piecing together the map. We're actually at the edge. Edge of the island. So be it. How do I get over there? By going around. And that would take me right over here. More beautiful cherry blossom trees, I believe. This is very abstract. I mean, I, I think this is top left. This is middle right. This is bottom right. What am I looking at? The size of the trunk? Because this is a fairly long trunk, and this probably correlates to this. Is that the only one? Well, this is kind of a longer branch or trunk. Is it this one? It might be this one then. Oh no. <laughs> it's really expecting me to dig patterns out of trees. This is some real schizo shit. I'm tempted to the brute force. There's not that many options, and I probably would learn something by doing it. Oh no. That's the one. Okay, what did I learn from this? <laughs> so this being filled in still probably refers to this branch. Though I'm not so sure what to make of these two. This could technically constitute this branch, but then I don't know where this comes in. See, I've only found one rule so far, and it's push the button that corresponds to the long thing. Long branch, long branch, then what's this? Maybe there's just that long branch, but it's hard to tell because of the path? Maybe this one will be more obvious. Well, it's got some tall ones, huh? Well, between these two branches, this one's longer. And then between these two, which probably correlate to these two, the left one is longer. So this won't be filled in. And then these six correspond to this area somehow. This could correspond to this branch. This branch is longer than this branch. And then longer on the left. And then, is it right side? Is it left side? Oh, okay, okay. So it really is kind of just follow the, the tree as well as you can. This you're not getting by brute force. There's too many buttons. I clearly am onto something. You just follow the long thing on the tree. And that's what it boils down to. This has no leaves, but at the beginning it does have three branches. And I think you almost consider the total length of the branch. No, no, you just consider the length of like the branch until it's next uh, splitting point. So the bottom right is the longest. Then among the ones on the right side, the next split, well, this is obviously longer than this one. This correlates to this here. So then these two correlate to these two, and the rightmost one is the longest. Then let's go on the left side. So this one is not the longest of its three, but, but these two correlate to these two, and the left is the longest. Then in the middle, we have a split here, which... This correlates to this, and this correlates to this, which is longer, so it's that one. We have a split here, and again, on the right side is longer, so I'll press the right. And then with split here, and on the left side is longer, it's the left, so this is correct. And I've lit a flame. Okay, I think I could actually handle this big tree puzzle down below. Unless if this is another one that I might need a bit more on, but I think I can do it. Here's the split. The left branch is longer. And then we'll go to the right side. Here's a split. Right branch is longer. And then after these, there's a split here and the left branch is longer. This correlates to this branch, so there's a split here and the right branch is longer. Then on the left side, going all the way to the left, there's a split here, and it looks like the right branch is longer. And then there's a split here and the right branch is longer again. And then there's a split here and the left branch is longer, so this should solve it. Don't know what that one did, actually. But it's good for completionism. There's no red wire attached to it, so... I'm not going to put it on the same footing as the other two puzzles I passed up. But I guess they technically could be. Now I wanted to step, up, step it up through this path. I saw there was a binary section. Who doesn't love binary? Well, then what? Oh, this is a red wire. Oh, uh, red wire means scary for me. This is just telling you how to count in binary. So this is 0, 1, 2, 3. Then this is 4 through 7. This is 8 through 11. This is 12 through 15. Why does it go in that pattern? And what's up with the white pillar, black pillar combo here? It seems like it's giving off its own binary. It, white could be a 1, black could be 0. This is 7 digits. So the highest it can be is 127. 
It feels like maybe I could gather information elsewhere. How about I check out going up, see if there's anything fun here. I'll get to the snowy mountaintops. Nice environment. What lies out here? This pillar? Oh, this is the other edge. Whoa, the continuation of yesterday's puzzles. Probably not yesterday. Interesting pillar. The sides are unequal. Okay, first theory, you press the buttons where there is a protrusion on both sides. And that would be these two. Next idea, you push the buttons where there's a protrusion on exactly one side. And that would be correct. That would be correct. Interesting. You're telling me this is solvable? Oh, more of these. Saw these yesterday. Don't think I've learned what these mean. I wonder if they'll teach it to you anywhere for... Or if uh, the game expects you to just get it. Not sure which. Is that all there is up here? Surely not. No, there's this whole section. What is this? I saw a map marker before even a single puzzle. Oh, it's the binary section. Maybe I'll do some learning here then. Yeah, gravestones with binary. Maybe it says addition. Maybe I'm supposed to add these up. So 101 plus 100 gets me a number that's greater than what I can put in. How about subtraction? 101 minus 100 is 001. Aha, subtraction. And this shows basic binary counting to three. 0, 1, 2, 3. Do I think this could be addition? I think no. Because these add up to, I believe, 16, which can't be expressed here. Well, I have a 10 and a 6. 10 minus 6 is 4. It's not right. Let me explore just a little bit. See if there's any other clues to get in. Interesting tombstones also still remind me of binary. Yeah, actually, the tombstones are literally ones and zeros. Zero, one, one, zero, zero, one, 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 zero, one. Well, this here is one, one, zero, zero. I kind of want to try that. One, one, zero, zero. Oh, oh, you are supposed to find the gravestones. This is a six digiter. I could just pick a group of six, a left side or a right side. Let's try left side first. Zero, one, one, zero, one, one. Zero, one, 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 zero, one. Maybe I don't read it in rows. I guess there's the idea that it could be filled in if a column has a zero and a one in it. So it would be this one, this one, and this one. Oh my god, <laughs> that's the rule? So if a column has both a zero and a one, let's see if I... Yeah, they've shifted the columns to make that harder to see. It's all five. Oh my god, that was the rule. Now they've really fucked it. Uh, it looks like this one, the zero one is good, one one's no good, zero zero is no good, one one's no good, one zero is good, and zero one is good. I cannot believe that was the rule. And now they've just kind of joined them vertically. This one's good, not good, 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 not good, good. And now they've completely bricked them together. Not good, not good, not good. And then these two are good. Oh, maybe I got to use the tombstones now? There's six though, and I see four columns. And I've passed by a ton of tombstones still. Um, well, one thing I can know for sure, it's definitely not positions one and five. Is the only way for there to be a zero and a one is I guess to be a square. Yeah, zero and one overlap, make a square. The one fills in the hole. That makes sense. And now, yeah, ma, square, square, zero, one. Yeah, yeah, so it's the square that's correct. So it's these. And a big door is opened. <laughs> I love how that's the binary rule they chose. Incredible. So is it still the same rule? It's just now they're in rows, so it's a little harder to see. It is still the same rule. You just imagine this being under this. Still the same rule. Uh-oh. What if I, like, flip it horizontally just out of curiosity? So, what? This left set it would be flipped horizontally? Oh, wait a second. There's dots on different sides of the numbers. Yeah, I think you read from the dot and then go in the direction of the number. Oh, that's fascinating. So this one corresponds with this one, which is no. This one with this one, no. Zero, zero, no. All these are the same, so it should just be none of them. Yeah, you read from the dot. One and one's a no. Zero, zero's no. Zero, one's a yes. Zero, one's a yes. 
One, one, no. Zero, one, yes. And it's the same sequence, but read from opposite direction. One, one, no. One, zero, yes. Zero, one, no. And then it's symmetrical. And it's just longer now. Oh, but you still read the first seven. So zero, one, yes. Zero, one, yes. One, zero, yes. Zero, zero, no. One, one, no. Zero, one, yes. That's the sixth. Then one, zero, yes. Into the next door. In deeper we go. And then the final puzzle. And this is a square. The square is both a one and a zero. That's cheeky. So one, zero, yes. One, one, zero. I actually don't know if that's a yes or a no. If there's two ones and a zero. I'm gonna say yes right now. Zero, one, yes. Square, yes. I'm starting to think that uh, one square is a no, to be honest. Because square by itself has to be a yes. One, zero is a yes. This is probably a no. I'm actually gonna guess these being no. Okay, is a yes? Uh-oh. Is the square itself not a yes? Zero and one is a yes. One and square is a maybe. Zero and one is a yes. Square is a yes. Wait, it's square and square though. Yeah, it is square and square. I don't read it once, I read it twice. One and zero is yes. One and square is maybe. One and zero is yes. So these are the surefire yeses. And that's not right though either. You know what I want to do as a breather? I actually want to go back to that red wire puzzle that I saw earlier and just see if I am capable of solving it. Show me what you got. So one zero, yes, zero zero, no, one zero, yes, zero one, yes. And then these are all no. This was correct, my first red wire puzzle. Oh, oh, columns of three. Maybe this is how I can kind of learn. Cause two ones and a zero is kind of like a one and a square. Zero, zero, one, I'm gonna say yes. Zero, 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 I'm gonna say no. One, zero, zero, I'm gonna say yes. Zero, zero, one, I'm gonna say yes. Zero, 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 I'm gonna say no. And then these two, I'm also gonna say yes. Wrong, these two, I'm gonna say no. That is correct. So as far as I know, a one and a square, no good. Then how about this one? So two ones is a no, one one's a yes. Two ones, no, no, yes. What about three ones? I'm gonna say no, that's wrong, okay, yes. Three ones is yes. Well, I guess it's odd. Is that the idea? An odd number of ones? Zero, zero, one, yes. Zero, one, zero, yes, yes. No, no, yes. That's just all there is. So three ones is no good. Or three ones is good, two ones is no good. So one and a square is no good. So that also means square and square should be no good because that also has two ones, but it has two zeros. Uh, two zeros doesn't matter, I don't think. Well, so I'm going back to that this should be right, but it's not. What if they're just all wrong? I'm honestly really desperate here. I mean, they flipped the whole mechanic on its head. What if I just read one of these dots, just left to right? What about right to left? See, that's the thing though. They never really specified if the square is a 1-0 or a 0-1. There's a pretty big difference. So I couldn't just break this up into two digits, unfortunately. What if, like, from one direction, it's a 1, and from the other direction, it's a 0? Maybe that's it? Let's say from the left, it's a 0, and from the right, it's a 1. So I would have 0, 1, which is good. Then I would have 1, 1, which is no good. Then I would have 0, 1, which is good. Then I would have 0, 1, which is good. Then I would have 1, 0, which is good. Then I would have 0, 1, which is good. And I would have 1, 0, which is good. Send it. That's what I'm gonna go with. Just out of curiosity, would this work too? I think that, right? Yeah, okay. This also works. So the idea is that this is read as one number from one direction and the other number from the other direction. Holy crap. <laughs> I didn't think this could get so tricky. It seems so simple on the surface, but it's actually quite deep. Well, two sections complete. That makes for a pretty good video, so I'll wrap it up here. Thank you all for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. More Taiji coming soon. There's a lot more to explore, and I'll see you all in the next video. Have a wonderful day, and peace.